All right, as you can see, we are teaching Lesson 3, Module 4. We are identifying, defining, and drawing perpendicular lines. So you may know what perpendicular lines are, but we're going to talk about them a little bit more. And let's go ahead and get started. So <clears throat> our perpendicular line has, is made up of two things. This here is a line segment, and it's, this is also a line segment. If I put arrows on both ends, they would be lines. They could keep going. Technically, any line segment could keep going if it doesn't have endpoints. These are right angles. That's why there's that box there. That box makes them recognizable as right angles without you having to actually measure it with your right angle template. I've labeled the points. So this would be line segment AC, line segment DB. The way they cross makes them perpendicular lines. Perpendicular means that you cross at a 90 degree angle or a, or a right angle. And that's what these did. So let's look at this shape. Oh, and this is point E, sorry. Let's look at this next shape. I have a line segment. If I use my right angle template, to come in and draw a straight line to make a right angle, I could be a perpendicular line. However, does this look perpendicular? If I look at this space right here, this is just an angle. It's actually an acute angle. And this is an obtuse angle because it's greater than 90 degrees. This is less than 90 degrees. Therefore, these are not perpendicular. You could use your right angle template to help you as well. If you squeeze your right angle template in there, you would see that it does not follow that perfect right angle. So if we look at this letter T right here, we could ask ourselves, does this have perpendicular lines? And the answer is yes, because this is a right angle. Therefore, these two line segments are perpendicular lines. I could label them line segment AB and line segment CD. They intersect. Intersect means to cross or touch at a right angle. Therefore, perpendicular. How about the letter L? Is it perpendicular? Yes, because look at this is a right angle. I can measure it again with my right angle template or anything that's folded into a right angle template. It is a perfect right angle. So you see that L is also perpendicular lines, intersecting lines or line segments. How about a V? Does this look like a right angle? Well, we can check it with our right angle template. If I start at one. So if you're looking at this V, it is not perpendicular lines because that right angle template did not fit nice and perfectly. Let's go ahead and move on. You guys are gonna be doing the right angle template with your problem set today. We're not gonna do that together. We are however gonna draw perpendicular lines. In order to do that, you have to have two points, point A and point B, and then you have to have them connected with a line segment. This line segment could go on forever, therefore it is really a line, and it's just a chunk that we're talking about right now. In order to do this, you're going to take your right angle template, which you have a triangular shape, and you're going to set it perfectly on your line. You can take either a ruler or just by holding your template, you can trace up the back of the right angle template. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make two points. There's my right angle template. I'm going to make point C. I'm going to make point D. Then I'm going to trace a line segment right along my right angle template. This right angle template tells me that this is a right angle. Now if I remove my template, I now have a perfect
perfect set of perpendicular lines. AB intersects with CD. And this is how it would look. AB, which is a line segment in CD, are perpendicular. See how this shape is just like this shape. That's all for today.